Hello everyone, I'm Masaki Sato from Chiu University in Japan. The title of my talk is High Speed Catching by Multivision Robot Hand. This is the outline of presentation. First of all, I'll explain about research background. The importance of the vision-based manipulation is increasing. In the vision-based manipulation, blindness felt due to such as occlusion and field of view restriction and obstruction to achieve high-speed, high-precision manipulation. On the other hand, recent years, the size and price of visual sensors have been reduced, making it easier to use multiple cameras simultaneously. Therefore, in this study, we aim to a multi-vision system composed by a large number of the cameras and eliminate the blind spot. So, our research topic is to propose a multi-vision hand, in which a number of the small high-speed cameras are mounted on robot hand, and achieve high-speed, high-precision manipulation while eliminating blind spot by using the multi-vision system that combines multi-vision hand and other external high-speed cameras. Also, we propose a ball catching operation by using the multivision system. The ball catching operation is an example of required high speed and high precision. In catching control, catch position estimated by external fixed high speed camera is corrected by the multivision hand in real time. Our search is relevant to eye hand system, sensing by robot hand, and ball catching by robot. There are many researches about the eye in hand system. In many cases, eye in hand system are configured single camera or stereo camera. Due to this, the visual field is so narrow. Example of sensing by robot hand, Patel et al. proposed a dynamic tactical sensor that combines proximity, contact, and force sensor and applied it to robotic grasping. Yamaguchi et al. proposed a finger vision. Finger vision is a method for measuring the force applied to a vision-based gripper. Koyama et al. demonstrated high-speed grasping of flexible object by high-speed camera and high-speed proximity sensor. In the study, we can acquire a large amount of information by number of cameras. And using a multi-finger robot hand, we can realize more dexterous operation. Example of both catching by robot Barmel et al. demonstrate catching of two simultaneously thrown bow by two armed mobile humanoid robots. Also, in our group, we are studying the ball catching as a part of ball juggling control. In this study, we aim to more high precision operation using a multivision hand. Next, I'll introduce the multivision hand with the bow. The hand is consists of three fingers. Right finger and left finger is 3 dwarf and center finger is 2 dwarf. Smaller cameras are installed at the tip and surface of the top link of each finger, and at the base of the left and right finger. In addition, LEDs are installed around the camera to assist image capturing. The small camera, the LED, and the signal conversion board are installed inside the finger. Thus, they can continue to accurate image stability even when a stroke is applied to the finger. The camera used the IU233 and 2 z developed by Sony Inc. They are very small with dimensions 26 by 33 by 232 mm They can output 120Hz for 320 by 200 pixel 8-bit RGB images. This video was shot by a multivision hand. In the video, moving the yellow bow around the multivision hand. You can see that there are almost no bright spots around the hand. This it shows system configuration. It takes a bow with multivision hand and two external fixed high-speed cameras. Multivision hand image processing and external high-speed cameras image processing are done on different PCs respectively. Send the joint angle command value by control unit this space at 1000 health. The high speed arm consists of 7 dove. Therefore, various movement are possible. Also, high speed motion is possible since the reduction ratio is small and maximum speed is up to 110 RPM each joint. 
The much bigger hand is attached to the tip of this arm. We use the high speed vision platform called IDP Express RWF 2000L as external fixed high speed cameras. The platform can acquire 512 by 512 pixel 8 bit wear pattern information at the rate of up to 2000 Hz. In the experiment, the rate was set to 500 Hz. Next is a proposed ball catching control. First, explain the concept of the control briefly. At first, estimate the ball position and trajectory with external fixed high speed camera. If the estimated position and trajectory contain error, correct the predicted catch position by visual solving on image obtained from the mount vision hand. The catch motion consists of three elements estimation, trajectory generation, and control. In the estimation, the ball state are estimated by Kalman filter, and catch position and catch time are estimated as long as the ball movement is parabolic. In this test, since the ball is falling from above, orientation of the hand is given so that the hand faces upward. In the trajectory generation, the joint angle are calculated by solving the inverse kinematics. At this time, if the estimated ball position is accurate, generate the joint angle trajectory using a fifth-order polynomial function. In contrast, if the estimated ball position contains errors, correcting the desired joint angle before we generate the joint angle trajectory. The proposed catch position correction method is expressed at this equation. Q catch is the desired joint angle calculated by estimated ball trajectory. And the corrected joint angle Q correct is obtained by adding the correction value delta Q by the mount division hand. This correction algorithm is consists of two controls. The first control is image based visual serving of the mount division hand. Delta MO is error of the ball projected on image and desired position on image. J by delta X is correction value of the movement of ball itself and JM is major curve matrix related to joint angle. This control will manage the error to the MO on the image. The second control is optimization of orientation. When the ball catching, the lower hand face is necessary upward in our task. However, the first control is not concerned with the hand orientation. Therefore, need to add this second control. Next, experiment. In the experiment, the ball was thrown from the toss machine at t equal 0. The catch position was estimated by external fixed high-speed camera and corrected by multi-vision hand. Confirm effectiveness of catch position correction by intentionally reducing the accuracy of external camera's estimation. Here is the video of the experiment when the effect of the correction of the catch position was remarkable. Deep camera and link surface camera are one of the camera mounted on the multi vision hand. These are shows the experimental result. In the above figure, Red line shows the estimated ball trajectory lowering the accuracy, and the blue line shows the actual ball trajectory that re estimates the offline from comparison after the experiment. In this graph, the estimated ball trajectory and actual ball trajectory are not aligned. This is mean that the experimental environment was suitable for verification of the catch position correction. In the blue graph, Green line shows the corrected lower hand trajectory, and yellow line shows uncorrected trajectory. In the experiment, the catch position was corrected up to about 135 mm. This is mean the propulsive correction by the multivision hand was effective for achieve robust catching. Finally, conclusion. We propose a multivision hand in which a number of small high-speed cameras are mounted on a robot hand. We also propose the correction of the catching position 
by visual solving control using a mouse vision hand. The experimental result succeeded in robust catching against initial or estimation errors. The future works are focused on the extension of the proposed multi vision hand, such as reaching task and grasping motion, and to use proximity sensor. Also, we developed efficient calibration methods for multi camera systems, such as multi vision hand. That's all. Thank you for listening.